Welcome to Nocturnal Simulations, where every week we bring you 90 seconds of tech tips, helping you maximize graphics and performance within Microsoft Flight Simulator, ensuring a smooth and stutter-free experience at a whole new level. Today's topic will be how to create a benchmark. If you're enjoying these episodes, please like and subscribe below. Hello there, my fellow virtual pilots. Are you tired of endlessly tweaking your settings in Microsoft Flight Simulator, only to be left wondering if you've actually made any improvements? Fear not, for I'm here to guide you through the creation of a benchmark that will allow you to test and retest your settings with pinpoint accuracy. So what exactly is a benchmark? Have you ever used one of those third-party benchmarking programs that take you on a fun adventure, torture your hardware, attempt to burn your house down, only to give you some superficial score that you can argue about on the internet? Well, this is it, minus the fire inferno part. Luckily, with this benchmark, you'll actually get usable, helpful results that will allow you to maximize your hardware's performance within Microsoft Flight Simulator, ensuring a smooth and enjoyable experience. So how do I accomplish this daunting task of proving everyone on the internet wrong with my sweet stats? Well, I use the built-in replay tool, along with a standardized scenario, the in-game developer FPS viewer, and the third-party Cap FrameX program, which is an FPS analyzer that I've linked below. First off, we're gonna need to enable the in-game replay tool. Now, I don't know why Microsoft didn't make this a saved state, but hey, I'm just a gamer, not a software engineer. So, every time you open the simulator for benchmarking, make sure to enable that replay tool through the general options and experimental menu. Next up, we need to pick an airport. And let's not pick just any airport, oh no. We want one that's going to put our system to the test. So go ahead and pick the most resource hogging airport you can find. And, while you're at it, pick at a specific gate, aircraft, and livery. We want everything to be consistent here, folks, including the time of day. And let's not forget about the weather. We want clear skies and none of that pesky precipitation to interfere with our benchmarking. Once you've got everything set up and are ready to generate your current setting benchmark, start up the replay tool, hit record, and go about your business. This can be anything, just keep moving. You can make these as long or as short as you like. I use a slightly longer than 20 second benchmark so that when I run Cap Frame X, it will capture something happening the entire time because I have it set to record for 20 seconds. After you've spun around enough to get dizzy, click that stop button. You'll want to save this by clicking the save button and pick a folder somewhere on your battle station. Next time you want to reuse this benchmark, simply open the replay tool, click load, spend 5 minutes figuring out where you saved it, load it up, and hit play. After you've made your benchmark, it's time to start tweaking those settings. Turn things up, turn things down, and see how it affects your FPS and performance. Once you make an adjustment, simply restart the benchmark by hitting the stop button and then the start button within the replay tool. Be sure to start Cat Frame X at the same time you press start if you're using it. After you've ran the benchmark a few times, made some adjustments, and found that your computer is crying for mama, you can check the logs of Cat Frame X and compare results. I'll go into how to go about doing this next week, so stay tuned. So there you have it, folks. A benchmark that will allow you to test your setting changes with consistency and accuracy. Now go forth and tweak to your heart's content. And remember, now you can back up your outlandish claims with statistics when you get caught out on Facebook. Happy flying.